guys, welcome back to my channel, Diamond Painting with Anxiety. I'm Karen. So it's time to update you on my Drills and Chills 2020 project, which is just a bunch of hocus pocus. So I love this image. It's so cute. I am really impressed with the um, clarity of the wording the letters hocus pocus it's just a bunch of i mean it's really to me that that part's really impressive and i really really like the hair i mean you can just cl so clearly tell what those are i think it's done really well i think the color selection is really good however this painting is perfect for drills and dr chills because it's truly been my worst nightmare. I have had more problems with this canvas than any one that I've ever done, including Hua Can. The only one that was maybe worse was my very first diamond painting, which was a paint with diamonds. Um, and ended up in the trash. This one has almost gone in the trash a couple of different times this week. I love the image, it's so cute. This one's a square, it is eight by 10. Didn't measure true to size, so it's a little bit smaller than that. Um, I was afraid that it was gonna be too small for you know clarity of the image, but I think it's just fine. However, I am having some real issues because my white drills and my black drills are not all the same size. So I started right here in this corner and I'd only done maybe about this much of it when I realized I was gonna have popping drills. So I stopped and I came up here to the center and I started working from the center out. That's something unfortunately that I had to learn uh, with working with hua cans because um, I've you know, done several of them and the drills were popping a little bit and I find that it really helps to work from the center and work your way out. See, I just touched it and, you know, a diamond came up. So I'm working from the center. I roll as I go, both directions. And, but with those, those diamonds being different sizes, they just, it just doesn't fit. Um, I think also another problem I'm having, it looks a little bit clearer on the camera, but those blue grid lines, it's really tough to see. But you can see right here, um, I mean, the drills are just different sizes, so you can't get them on straight. Now, oh, that one's not where it belongs. Now, this is really dirty. Um... Yeah, this is just a nightmare. I mean, what I finally started doing is I started rolling. See where those are popping right there? Um, I was having such a hard time with it that I started in the center, roll as I go. There's another area where some have popped. But like those ones that you saw down there, and look at these up here. Okay, they're not even. These are all the way off the grid. You can't really see it very well. But look at, see those that black T right there? There's absolutely nothing I could do to, av to avoid it. I even at one point started over. At one point, um, Pippa um, suggested that I take a row of diamonds out. So I tried to figure out how to do it. That didn't work out very well. So what I'm doing is I'm just letting the diamonds... I'm putting them in as straight of rows as I possibly can, and I'm just I'm just putting them on. They're going over into the sticky area. They did over here too. That edge doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's a little bit crooked, but I'm just gonna do my very best to finish this and see what it looks like. I've got a plan for what I'm gonna do with this to um, to provide some Halloween decor here at the shelter, but yeah. The drills are just, the whites and the blacks are just not the same size. Some are bigger than others, and so there's no way that you can keep them in the grid. Um, 
The other drills seem to be kind of okay, so... But when I ordered this, this kit seemed so unusual. It almost seemed like something that someone had maybe created at home. Um, if you didn't see that unboxing, I'll put it in the description box down below so you can see the unboxing. But this canvas is really different. First of all, there's the double-sided adhesive, which it's just kind of like it's been laid down there. There's the schematic. You know, there's all this white area. And then on the back, there's this plastic, which is kind of different. It does keep it clean and, and protects it, I guess, and it may have protected it from, you know, like rivers or bubbles or anything like that. So that's a good thing. But see, this is sticky, and the canvas back here is not. This is also a very, very thin canvas. But I liked the image when I got it. It seemed different. So I'm a crazy person, and I ordered another one. So tell you what let's go unbox it hang tight let me get to the other room and we'll get it unboxed we'll see what else I ordered I just wanted to see if it would be the same as this one so hang on it'll just be a second okay so I kind of screwed up and forgot that I had recorded that first bit then I finished the painting did a final review and realized what I was done Actually, I have put off unboxing this. I'm kind of dreading it. And let me show you why. So, do you hear that? Hopefully the audio is picking that up. I don't think it's supposed to sound like that, you guys. I'm scared. This is perfect for drills and chills because this is horrifying. That's a great sound for a baby's rattle. But not so much for a diamond painting. If that didn't come through, I can hear like drills floating around in there, I think. <sighs> okay, fingers crossed you guys. Lots of positive energy. Let's open this and find out. Oh my gosh. Now, at least the packaging is, oh my gosh, and here they come. At least the packaging was good enough that, look at that, you guys. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh no, the entire bag came open. Okay. So, we have one of their little containers of wax, which when I did the last one, I didn't even use these. But th this is really cute. Okay, I'm trying to be positive. Let's find as many positives as we possibly can here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to very carefully try and dump these all out. They're going everywhere. And I just swept and mopped my floors last night. Oh no. It looks like it might only be the whites though and the tray came out too so maybe I don't even know what to do you guys oh my gosh good lord they just keep coming oh okay again positive I love the bright orange tweezers really nice nice touch CC custom prints. Love it. Okay. They just keep coming. Oh my gosh. Oh Lord. I should have like used a, oh, a tray or something. Okay. Maybe that's most of them. Okay. And there's a nice bag of gray. That one's closed. Okay. This is the bag that came open. In my last unboxing and project that I did from CC Custom Prints, it was actually the whites. 
were one of the colors that I had problems with. The whites and the blacks were not even close to the same size. Let's see if, oh my gosh, you guys, have you ever, have you ever experienced anything like this? Oh, this is a mess. This is a mess. I'm going to title this video the messiest boxing unboxing ever or something. I don't, I don't even know. You guys are going to spend forever just watching me clean this up. In fact, let me pause because this is going to, this is going to get painful. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's snowing white drills for Halloween. Does that make it like the nightmare before Christmas or something? I don't know. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to pause you guys, clean this mess up and then we'll see what we got here. Okay. Hold on. So I've got most of the mess cleaned up. They're still coming out of the box. So this is going to continue to be messy. Um, not only was the bag open, but there is a hole in it right there. Look, my entire finger will go inside the bag. There's a big hole right there. So it was open and there's a hole. Oh my, oh my Lord. I don't even, and of course it's a white drills, which were too big, different sizes last time. Okay. I'm going to try and pull the rest of this out. Hopefully the mess is not too bad. Here come all the drills. All the drills are right here at the top. Okay. Yep. Here come some more of those white ones. Ooh, that's pretty purple. Okay. Oh, they're everywhere, you guys. I joke all the time about dropping my drills on my canvas and not on my floor, but this time CC Custom Prints did it for me, and this is just a little ridiculous. Okay, so let's see. There's some paperwork again. So really right now this kit's looking exactly, oh my god, look at that. This kit's looking exactly the same as the other unboxing I did. So I would sort of suspect that I would have the same problems completing this project as you're going to see in my next video, my finished video that I had with um, the first project. But So these kits do come with... Um, a little piece of the white putty. I didn't use that last time. I love these little containers. Those, those are super cute. A uh, small white boat, pink pen, and the gorgeous orange tweezers. I really do like that set. So kind of a, kind of, you know, a little bit better than standard kit. So I love that. Um, we'll look at these drills in a minute. Again, I still got a horrific mess going on over here. I hope none of these other bags are open. Let me let me try and move the oh jeez. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a hole in it, Karen. Lord. I just I can't even with this, you guys. Ugh. Oh, they're everywhere. Thank God they're not staticky because. That would just make this even worse. All right, let me move this for a second. I don't want you guys to have to see, sit through watching me struggle, but I mean, I don't know what to do. The This drill mess, I'm going to spend hours, days probably, trying to clean these up off my floor. I really should have put something underneath me. Um, I didn't think it was going to be quite this bad, though. I should have known from all the noise that that was making, but okay, we're just going to sweep these off into this tray. We'll deal with the rest of that mess later. Um, let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, more drills. Um, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Okay, so we do have the, the um, sheet of paper with Tips and tricks again. Um, 
um, you know, has some information. Eight steps um, to diamond painting with some photos. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have our canvas. Okay. So, okay, first thing, first things first. Again, it has that really kind of strange backing. This is sticky. This is not. The canvas is super, super thin. One of the, the thinnest canvases I've ever used. Now, I have no idea what the, look at the drills are sticking back there. I have no idea what this clear, what the idea is behind this clear cover. I don't know if it's to keep it clean. I don't know if it helps protect it from damage because this is double-sided adhesive. Um, so let's take a look at our image, sh shall we? Okay, again, so this is an image that I really, really liked. Again, I'm seeing already that it has those light blue grid lines, which was a problem for me last time. The printing on this looks really light. I'm not even sure if you guys are going to be able to tell what this is. Um, the other one I didn't, but in this one I am seeing a couple of bubbles right in this area right here. It looks like it's a little more mangled. Probably not going to be able to sh get you into the area where in this lighting, especially where you can see that. Um, The symbols look fairly clear. Okay, I, you, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see that image at all. I'll try to show you the teeny tiny thumbnail. I'll try to also figure out how, it's always kind of a, a challenge for me, but I'll try to figure out how to you know, get, an, get a picture of the image and maybe put it in the thumbnail or something so that you can actually see it. But, um, it's not too bubbled. It's not too bad. Again, I'm really not liking those light blue grid marks because that may have been what my problem was. Let's see if I can show you this thumbnail. It's really tiny. Will it focus? Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, it's a coffee cup, and what it says is Hocus Pocus, I need, or it says, uh, yeah, Hocus Pocus, I need coffee to focus. Love it! Um, again, the image, and it's got little witch feet coming out of the coffee cup. Um, it's, this image is, is so hard to see on here, I don't even know what my clarity is going to be like. So, not too sure with this guy, with this one already, you guys, not too sure. So, let's take a peek at these drills real quick. Okay. So, we've got um, 16 colors. This one is a square. It's 8 by 10. Oh my god, it keeps spilling these. What is wrong with me? We don't care about the white ones, Karen. Ugh. What a nightmare. This video belongs in funniest bloopers or something. I don't know. So, if I can get these cleaned up, oh my gosh. Into the tray. I got a whole mess going on. Um, 16 colors. Again, they come in these, these bags that have like a piece of paper with what looks like a printed, um, guide to your symbols. These do have DMC numbers. You could just work on it right out of the bags. I don't prefer to do that because each of the each of the bags has your symbol right there in the center. I That doesn't work well for my brain. I know another a lot of other people love to do it that way, but it just doesn't work for me. 
um, I'm going to <coughs> kind of put these out and see what we got here. I'm going to count them rather than try to match the inventory up. That's just easier. So I do have the broken bag over there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So all sixteen colors are here. Again, this is not an in-your-face Halloween sort of palette. Um, I think it might look a little more Halloweeny because of the purple. The last one didn't really have any purple in it. The orange is nice. It's not a real bright pumpkin orange, but it's it's pretty. Um, so what I am really tempted to do with this one, I don't know. So the white color that I had problem with last time was, let me take a look real quick. I think it's, um, 53.30 and my black of course is, is 310. So I had problems because my whites and my three, I'm spilling more. My whites and my 310s were just different sizes. Some were really big, but it wasn't, it's not like they had tabs or I could tell, so it was really easy to pick them out or anything. So it just made for a nightmare. I'm really, really tempted. I don't know if I have that many of the um, 3865s in my stash, but what I'm tempted to try to do is switch the whites and the blacks out for um, drills in my stash. I know I have enough 310s. And see if that makes a difference as far as, you know, this lining up. Or if it's the way this is printed with these super, super light blue um, grid lines, if it's just me. Now, I've been diamond painting for a long time. I've done a lot of different projects. I have never in my life, whether I use something to straighten or not, never in my life had a diamond painting um, where the drills won't line up. But, um, so I don't know. I'm tempted to do that. I don't know if I have enough 3865. This may be a project that doesn't get finished because I may just use what I have in my stash of 3865 because not to mention all the ones that I have spilled. I mean, that's a big bag of 3865. The majority of the painting is this white background. Um, so I don't know. I may try to, to pull that off. Maybe, I don't know. I think, I don't know if Tima has her site up. Maybe I'll try to go purchase some. Does Tima have square drills? I'm not sure. Um, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. And see if it makes any difference at all. Um, and I don't know. I, I really only thought that it was the white drills and the purple, or the white and the black drills. But it's absolutely possible that it was all of them. So even if I go to those steps, these other drill colors may cause me the same problems. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm definitely going to link this down below. I paid $18 for this project. Should not arrive to me with busted drills, making a big mess. I mean, I know things happened. And really, probably the busted drills did not, um, you know, that probably was not, that was something that happened after it got shipped, I'm sure. But what they do with these boxes is they roll the diamond painting and the um, paper material up and they put it in. Then they shove all the drills right here at the very top. And they're like really like just squished in there really tight right at the very top. That's probably not the best way to package these diamond paintings. I've already sent the seller one email about the first project that I did. I will definitely be sending her one about this project. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that I should just try to use the drills that they sent me? Should I try to use some for my stash, see if it makes a difference? 
or really truly at this point should I just take this $18 project that I was so excited because I loved the image um, and I actually wanted to make this one for me I wanted to hang it on my door um, the door that goes between my apartment and the house um, should I just throw it away I mean I don't know at this point you guys but we know how stubborn I am so we know that I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably going to try and figure out some way of doing this. So I don't know, you guys, that's it. That's it for this unboxing. I'm going to try to get this vid video edited and put up for you because like I said, I screwed up and forgot to, to unbox this and, and post that first video. So I want to hurry and get that up so I can, um, you know, post the my finish and framing of the first project which spoiler alert you guys that one was pretty disappointing too I again I'm stubborn so I hung in there and kind of figured out a way to make it work but um, pretty disappointed in CC um, custom prints at this point at this point I would say that I probably will not order from them again I'll link this in the description box whether you want to give them a try or not is up to you um, they did have some little like um, military and um, service position emblem emblems that were about six dollars that looked really cute I, I know I just said that I'm not gonna order from them but I'm really tempted to try those um, and who knows, hopefully the feedback that I'm trying to provide to the seller, maybe it will help. Has anybody else ever ordered from CC Custom Prints? Were your experiences like this at this point, seeing what I've gone through, would you order from them? Curious to find out, so make sure you tell me in the comment section below. So that's it, you guys. Just want to remind you before I let you go, even if we make a big mess with our drills and drop them all over the place and have to spend the rest of the afternoon trying to clean them all up on our nice clean floors even if that happens we can change lives one drill at a time because when we change our lives the entire world around us is going to change that's it for this one you guys see you soon Hey you guys, quick update before I let you go, and this time I do mean it. When I went to try and figure out how to get a picture for you guys, which I was not able to do, so you'll just have to check the link in the description box, but when I was looking at that, I don't know if I didn't notice before or if it's new, but right on the posting, not for the Hocus Pocus I Need Copy to Focus painting, but for the other one that I completed, which just which says it's it's all a bunch of hocus pocus, right on it it says handmade. So I am not sure if I, I'm really thinking that someone's doing this from home. I could be wrong. I did send an email to CC Custom Prints, two of them, with feedback on these projects. Um, so hopefully I'll hear back from them and I'll be able to update you guys on that really soon. So that's it. Now I'm truly going to let you go. Have a great day, you guys.